Welcome back. In the previous lesson, we have discussed the several topics and that was we have shown in the MongoDB shell and nothing but like, you know, we have installed the MongoDB in our local and also the MongoDB compass. Now, in this lesson, I'm going to give you the introduction to the MongoDB Atlas. So first, what I'll do is that let's go to the MongoDB.com and in this MongoDB.com, you can go to the products under the products we can see some platform and what we see is the atlas is there until now whatever we have discussed is all about the self-manage means we have installed in our local and everything you need to do in the local but however but now we're going to look into what is netlas click on this atlas and now you are in the mongodb atlas what is mongodb atlas mongodb atlas is a fully managed cloud database service for deploying, operating, and scaling MongoDB database. It eliminates the complexity of the data management by handling the infrastructure, backups, and scaling, allowing the developers to only focus in the application. There are some of the key features of the MongoDB Atlas or global deployment, which means deploy the cluster across the multiple regions for better performance and data locality. Scalability. Automatically scale the resource up or down based on the demand. High availability. Security. Offers the features like inscription, authentication and access control. Ease of use. Simplifies database setup and management with an intuitive interface. That's a super cool. What I'll do is that let's get started into the MongoDB Atlas. First, what we'll do is that let's create a free cloud account in MongoDB Atlas. For that, what you have to do is that you can click on the MongoDB Atlas and there is a try free is there. Click on this. Now you can set up for the free so just fill all the details like first name last name company email and password and then create your account in atlas next verify your email Once your email is verified, click on continue. All right, now we have successfully created account. Just wait for a couple of seconds until its setup is finished. Done. Now we have the welcome screen is there and you can set all the requirements that you want. Like what is the primary requirement of this? Let's say learn MongoDB, how long you have been using the software and you can say like you know you are never used a mongodb before and what is the programming language that you are using so this you can set your 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 thing Now you can see the cluster options is there like M10 and which is a 0 0.08 per hour serverless which is 0 0.10 per 1 million reads or you can also take the one M0 which is a free where you have the 512 MB storage shared RAM and uh, it is running under the shared CPU. I mean for the sake of the learning purpose this is free forever and we can simply use this and then you can simply scroll down and see the configuration. And you can set whatever the configuration you want. Let me name the cluster as data science. Anyway, now I can set the provider. It's up to you, like, you know, what type of provider you want, AWS, Google Cloud, or Azure, and which is fine. And just choose a region which is very closest to you. And in this case, the Mumbai, India is very close to me. I'll set this at location. And then you can click on the create deployment. 
and wait for a couple of seconds oh it's very quick and here you can see uh, connect to the data science anywhere and it is as it is giving you the username and password do not share this password to anyone whenever you're trying to connect to the database this is very much is useful so what you do is let's copy this and paste it in somewhere which is very safe for you and then you can simply close it and done so with this you have successfully configured the atlas and everything is running so all you need to do is that under database section you can see cluster and once you see this cluster and uh, then you are seeing like another cluster is created you can see a message like a you know, cluster is being created just wait for a couple of seconds and once it is done you can see once it is done and you can see the nice ui dashboard of the atlas db that we can use it all right we have successfully created the cluster and the maogon db atlas now let's see how we can connect to this cluster so all you need to do is that under database you need to click on this cluster and then you can basically you can see there is a browse collection is there under the browse collection click on this browse collection wait for a couple of seconds and done and we have some sample data which is already there with us something like uh, embedded movies movie session theater and users so there are few records that was already there under this pause the video and check what exactly you are noticing in the mongodb atlas exactly this is exactly looks like the mongodb compass what are the compass that you are actually work till now and this is the cloud or web based version of the compass and here you can see on the left hand side you can see some list of collections so here we have the movies sessions theaters and etc which is already there and if you click on this movies and then here you can see there is a find is there and under the find we can actually provide do some kind of a queries and uh, you can expand this options and here we see, we can see some field and sort operator is also there and collet is also there so let's do simple find so for that let me uh, go to the filter oh, let me remove this and now let's i don't know the ex what exactly this data set is about but however what i can do is let me check some sample data that whatever we are we are seeing now okay or else i can collapse all the options here now let's look into this this is about some movies is there and some plot of the movie and rated some movie type is something like this and so on okay now what i'll do is that let's say if at all i want to search this movie and we have the title is there something like this now let me search this movie using the command we already know that how we can do the query operations but just for our revision purpose whatever we did in the mongodb compass let's do exactly the same thing so for that what you have to do is that we have a field name called title and set the title to this and if you click on apply and this will return the two movies with the title the great train robbery and we have the two movies okay and which is 1978 okay there are two movies that was released one is 1903 and second movie is released on 1978 okay that is super cool i hope now you understand like you know what is mongodb atlas and how is different from the compass which is almost similar only difference is that mongodb atlas is a cloud based version whereas compass is a desktop version and that one we have connected to our local computer okay this is a very simple thing about the atlas and in the going forward what we will do is we're going to use the both atlas as well as mongodb which we have installed local in the next lesson we're going to discuss more on mongodb 
Until then, happy learning.